In this example, I've got those two routers and they're across the internet, but you'll notice that I've got a firewall now in the transit path. Let's assume that the router on the left, that's the router with the router ID 179.101.80.88. Let's assume that it initiates the TCP connection. Uh-oh, the firewall blocks by default that incoming TCP connection. That's no good. Let's look at the router from the inside perspective. If it sends an outbound connection, most of the time, with our firewall configuration, that's going to be allowed because this is a TCP session. Now the response back to that outbound connection will find an entry in the state table and that three-way handshake can complete. So again, this is important in terms of the CCIE exam because there may be times when we are forced to establish it from a certain direction. And that might mean we need to modify our firewall configuration so that it does not block those incoming connections. So something to be aware of, something that's sometimes overlooked, but establishing sessions with a firewall in the path can cause you some configuration issues from time to time. But if you're aware of it ahead of time, it's not so bad.